Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to the ranking member. Holly, and now for your here. questions, but if you have any comments, we're, we're glad to have them too. Well, no, no, I just want to say it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Uh, Mr. Turk, you're familiar with the Manhattan Project, I assume. Uh, I am. Are you familiar with the effects of the Manhattan Project's radioactive waste on school children in Missouri? Uh, I'm familiar with not only school children in Missouri, but we've got projects all across our country. We've got an environmental management program, uh, about $8 billion a year, that works on those efforts. Great. Well, let's talk about Missouri, if we could. In the Hazelwood School District in the St. Louis area, I hope that you're aware that radioactive material has been found in Coldwater Creek, which runs right near Jana Elementary School. Are you familiar with this? I am. I've had several conversations with our team on this. Good. Well, you'll be aware then that radioactive material has been found within 600 feet of Jana Elementary School. Coldwater Creek has long been a site designated with radioactive waste and material. Again, it goes through the school district. There are multiple schools in the Hazelwood School District. There was private testing done in Jana Elementary itself, in the school building itself, paid for by private parties that found radioactive material in the building. On the basis of this, the Jana Elementary School is now closed. The school board took the very difficult decision of having to close that school. Those students have been sent home. They're now distance learning, which as we've learned through COVID is mm -hmm. really not much learning at all. You've got working parents who now have kids at home, not able to learn, all closed down. I have asked the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to do additional testing on Jana Elementary. They have refused. The school district has asked them to do additional testing. They have refused. The school district has now written to your department mm -hmm. asking DOE to authorize testing of Jana Elementary and every other school in the Hazelwood School District. Have you seen their letter or they sent it to you a week ago? No, I have seen their letter. We've talked Good. about it and eager to work with you and your staff on this. Okay, does that mean you'll be doing the testing? So uh, we've had conversations, including with the Army Corps, and I uh, don't particularly uh, understand where the Army Corps is coming from. Neither do I. And so we're having conversations with them in terms of the jurisdictional nature of it, but uh, happy to have conversations, happy to do right by uh, citizens in Missouri and elsewhere when we deal with the Manhattan Project implications. Well, with all due respect, I'm not particularly interested in the conversations. I'm interested in getting a result here. These parents have been waiting for years, frankly, years to get some cleanup done. I don't think it's too much to ask that this school district, and beginning with Jana Elementary, but the entire school district get proper cleanup done and these kids be able to go to school in a place that doesn't have radioactive waste within 600 feet of their school or maybe in the building itself. So what the school district has asked you to do is to authorize testing immediately at the Jana Elementary site and every other school building in the Hazelwood School District. They're not asking the Army Corps for that. We've already tried that. They're asking you. They're asking DOE. So my question to you is, will you authorize it? So happy to work with you uh, on that, Senator. I need to talk to the team and understand the particulars of what's involved there. Um, I don't understand right now the particular intricacies of jurisdiction from the Army Corps and what our involvement is. We need to have the statutory and uh, ability to get involved in cases along these lines. So I just need to talk to the team, but happy to work urgently on it. What that. does that mean you need to have the statutory ability? Un un unlock that for so me. The way I, it's me. been described to me is the Army Corps has been the principal government agency that's uh, been involved here, relevant here as far as these issues go. I just don't know what our involvement is from the DOE side of things. What is our particular uh, jurisdictional hook? What is our ability to help? Uh, in this particular situation. So that's what I need to go back to our team and, uh, and get an answer for you. Well, let me tell you how this sounds to the parents. How this sounds to the parents is they have for years been asking to have this site cleaned up. Then they're told that there's radioactive waste in a creek that their kids play along, right adjacent to their elementary school playground. Then they're told that another analysis has found radioactive waste in the building. Then they're told that their school will be closed and their kids are sent home. So now the parents are wondering, have the kids been exposed to radioactive material? The kids are now at home, not able to learn. And what they hear from the federal government is, and I've gotten the same runaround, oh, we're not sure, oh, we don't know. The Army Corps says, oh, I'm not sure we have authority to do any testing. You say you don't know what your statutory authorizations are. Can we get some people in a room together and figure this out so, so that we can get this school tested and get it reopened? And if you're sensing a certain impatience in my voice, it's because I'm very impatient about you know, this. I'm a parent too and can certainly appreciate and understand. Well, let's do there. something about it. Happy to get in a room, happy to do it with the Army Corps. Uh, we got the letter just a few weeks ago. We've already had several conversations about what we can do to help from the DOE side. Well, if you got it weeks ago, I mean, why is it that you don't have anything for me today? And that was 
I need to go back to our team and see where they're at. Okay, the can, will you? I had was about a week and a half ago. On oh, for heaven's sake. Well, listen, while we're sitting here talking. Senator, if I could help you maybe on that, because I just got uh, uh, staff, and, and Sam, Sam has been here longer and seen most of this legislation, and this will not hurt, harm your time. Uh, but I was told that back uh, when there was um, another senator, uh, back maybe 20 years or more ago, transferred that authority to the Corps. We'd have that's to. That's what I was alluding he's to. He's trying to find out. We have to do that here, and we'll do. I, I agree with you. It should be done. It should be in their hands. He doesn't have the authority right now. I'm understanding that it's still within the Corps, Corps jurisdiction. That's why it's so confusing. That should never have happened. Yeah, that that may be true, Senator, and I, I appreciate that. It's not so clear to me actually. It looks like to me there's maybe overlapping authority. But what I'm trying to do here is light a fire. No, I think. And, and, no. and I just want. I just on behalf of the parents sure. who I, I just want them to, you know. They've gotten the runaround for literally years. I just wanted to the, let the record reflect that as we're sitting here chatting about this, their kids are at home not getting educated. So what I'm asking you to do is figure it out and get me an answer. And if we need to do something legislatively, we're, we're going to do we it. We have to do it. He cannot do that, what you just asked him. We can and we must and we should do it as quickly as possible. If you put your staff with Sam Fowler, we'll have it ready for you immediately. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. But... I still want an answer from you. As I'd like the school district. The school district has a letter into you. I'd like you to answer that. I want to be copied on it, and I'd like to see a response. We're more than happy to make this a top priority. Work with Sam. Work with the chairman. Work with your staff, Senator, and try to do whatever we can from our end to be helpful. We'll fix and if there's legislation it. Great. that's needed, great. Like we'll we, fix it. this is what we do. This is what our environmental management program does. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.